I would like to show you one of the coolest design features in exterior of the Q4 e-tron. It's a new headlight design and it's the first time ever that the customer can choose between four different DRL designs. This is our favorite. It has a black pupil in the middle. It's a strong character. Number two is a more sporty one. We call it the checkered black graphic. And number three is a classical um, Audi design with an L shape. And then we have number four, it's a more reduced one with a strong bright pupil in the middle. I hope that you're fascinated of the all new Q4 e-tron like we are. Guys, I'm really happy with the car. It looks really fantastic on the road. Let me give you a little breakdown about the design because it's really looking fantastic. We are talking about the next level of e-tron design. So we tried to clean up the surfaces, give them a lot more volume so they look really powerful and characterful on the road. Emphasizing the wheels, which are actually pushed much further out on, on this package, mainly because of our battery pack, which sits in the ground. And this gives us um, a new opportunity to talk about a uh, much bigger cabin space. I'm a big fan of the sport back as well. Thomas, maybe you can tell us a bit about the rear. Ama, thank you. Yeah, since you were just talking about the rear of the car, it's really important to know some, some background from the aerodynamic point of view. Um, the Q4 Sportback aerodynamically speaking is a so-called fastback. Now fastback type cars have no roof spoiler, but the roof is slanted towards the trunk, showing a continuous slope from the roof to the tail. We incorporated a rear spoiler at a rather high position. It actually splits the rear window, and this leads to an optimal flow direction of the rear and to reduce vortex drag. Now Christian, how about the interior? Thanks, Thomas, for asking. Our goal in design was that to create an interior where the customer steps in and says, wow, I really want this car. It's so cool, it's so futuristic. We wanted to deliver a 100% Audi interior, very sporty, very driver-focused. We have the biggest screen we have in Audis right now, a new generation steering wheel with touch sliders, an operating panel in the center console, which also follow this digital idea, a lot of roominess and spaciousness uh, in the whole car, and one highlight is the bottle holder and the door. Right, Pirmi? Yeah, Christian, thanks for mentioning. So what we were able to do is, in every door panel, you can store up to one liter, even 1.5 liter bottles, very easily for you to reach. So a quite cool everyday feature. I'd like to show you some color and trim highlights. For example, on our interior applications, on the wood, we focused on an extreme 3D haptic. On our aluminium, we divided this big surface with two different graphics. And for the very first time, we show our new Audi rings in the interior, which correspond to our corporate Audi identity. Out of all this waste, which consists of recycled PET bottles, recycled granules, we create a top and a bottom material, which together in the carpet is an 88% recycled material. In a total interior, 31% together with the rear shelf is recycled. 